resistors in combination. A resistor is a material which offers resistance to the flow of current. Shown here are the several types of resistors. Generally, in an electric circuit, a zigzag line represents a fixed resistor. Two thick dots at the ends represent brass terminals. In an electric circuit, resistors can be connected in series or in parallel. Resistors in parallel Resistors are said to be connected in parallel if they have a common positive terminal and a negative terminal as shown here. Let us calculate the effective resistance of the circuit. Consider three resistors R1, R2 and R3 connected through the ammeters A1, A2 and A3 such that resistors have common positive and negative terminals. The resistors are connected to a cell through an ammeter and V is the voltmeter. The potential difference across the resistors is the same. The current I branches out in a parallel circuit. Let I1, I2 and I3 be the current flowing through the resistors R1, R2 and R3 respectively. Under ideal conditions, the total current entering or leaving the circuit when the resistors are arranged in parallel to each other is equal to the sum total of the current flowing through the individual resistors. If I is the total current in the circuit, then I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Let us now calculate the effective resistance of the circuit. According to Ohm's law, R is equal to V by I. In a parallel circuit, the current flowing through the individual resistors varies. Hence, we first calculate I1, I2 and I3. Total current I is equal to V by R. I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 or V by R is equal to V by R1 plus V by R2 plus V by R3. V into 1 by R is equal to V into 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Therefore, 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. This equation can be further simplified as shown here. Therefore, the effective resistance R is equal to R1 R2 R3 by R1 R2 plus R2 R3 plus R1 R3. Resistors in series. Resistors are said to be connected in series if they are connected one after the other in the form of a continuous chain as shown here. Let us calculate the effective resistance of the circuit. Consider three resistors R1, R2 and R3 connected to a battery through an ammeter. The same current I flows through R1, R2 and R3 but there is a continuous drop in potential all along. That is, the potential drop across R1, R2 and R3 will be different. Let V1, V2 and V3 be the potential drop across R1, R2 and R3 respectively. Under ideal conditions, the potential drop across the resistors is equal to the sum of the individual drop in potentials. That is, V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 where V is the total potential drop. Let us now calculate the effective resistance of the circuit using Ohm's law. The mathematical representation of Ohm's law is R is equal to V by I. In a series circuit, the potential drop across each resistor varies. Hence, we calculate the potential drop 
V1, V2 and V3 across the resistors R1, R2 and R3 respectively. The total potential V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 but V is equal to IR. IR is equal to IR1 plus IR2 plus IR3. Therefore, R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Therefore, the effective resistance of the circuit is equal to the sum of the resistances of the individual resistors in the circuit.